All right. How's it going, everyone? Uh, it's a little oh, wind night here. Uh, something a little different today. Uh, I am going to try, and I know I've done this a few times, but I'm going to try once again uh, to do some recordings uh, just, you know, just when I have time, kind of that way I don't have to do streams, uh, like four hour streams, because that's usually what I do. And it's, I don't want to stream for just a short amount of time. Uh, so something like this would be, uh, a little better to do because I can do these recordings for a couple of hours, uh, mostly before I go to work, uh, or after, uh, after I get off from work, uh, if I have a morning shift, but, uh, you know, it's just, just something, right? <laughs> All right. So we're just going to do like a little video of Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Uh, I played Mega Man X uh, plenty of times and, you know, having a PSP port of it, it's, uh, I was really, really happy when it came out. So, uh, without any further ado, uh, let's do this. the mission. X, there's a high probability that the insurgency there was caused by Mavericks. Mavericks? This must be Sigma's work. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, one of the cool things about this is we get cutscenes. Uh, we also get that, uh, ow. that Day of Sigma video, which is, uh, Pretty much, uh, like the prologue for uh, the start of Mega Man X, which is I don't know. I'll, we'll have to. I'll have to see it again. But uh, no, no, actually, okay. I gotta think about it because the uh, Capcom kind of messed up the like the plot of the X series because it was supposed to end with Mega Man X5 but then they did Mega Man X6 and then 7 came out we don't really talk about 7 it's like a general consensus of the community uh, and then 8 comes out and, you know, with the whole Mega Man Zero series, uh, it's 
pretty much tied to the ending of X5. So it's weird. But I think Day of Sigma happens after the whole Sigma fighting with Zero, which shows in Mega Man X4. Uh, now, I could be wrong. Probably. Uh, but, you know, I think that's how it, how it is. Because Zero is, is a hunter at this point. So Sigma already had his, you know, bout with Zero. And he kind of just goes, quote unquote, uh, Maverick. Now, I say quote unquote Maverick because like, I, I don't know. I guess in terms of Maverick, it's just them going rogue or, but there's the, the, the zero virus and all this. I'm, I'm just going to shut up because I'm going to get more confused. <laughs> if you want good, good storytelling, go play Mega Man Zero, one through four. From start to finish, you get a cohesive story. Vile. I should have known you'd be involved in Sigma's rebellion. Rebellion? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here to cause trouble for you. I hate you. Hope you're ready, X. Yeah, Vile has a real... Ow. A uh, hate boner for X. I'm gonna die already. To the freaking. <coughs> Never mind. Tutorial boss. You underestimated me. I hate that about you. X, there's nothing you can do. I'll defeat you and Sigma. Then I'll change the world. X, are you alright? Hmm, zero. Why would someone as powerful as you align yourself with X? He's just a B-class hunter, nothing more. Vile, you're nothing but a maverick now. Zero, what happened to Vile? All I know is that he's our enemy now. Hmm. X, I'm gonna stay on Sigma's trail a bit longer. You get back to Hunter Base and take it easy. Gotcha. Let's hook up again later. Zero. Thanks. You saved me again. Large-scale Mavericks have been detected in various locations. Oh no! They must work for Sigma! It looks like the Rebellion has begun. We'd better put a stop to them before we go after Sigma. Alright. <clears throat> now, in the original uh, Mega Man X, it's kind of a... Uh, you can't really beat Vile. Uh, he just kind of... Uh, sorry. <laughs> I trailed off there. Uh, Vile kind of just... <clears throat> after you take a certain amount of damage, Vile will start shooting this electrical ball to paralyze you. And the rest of the scene plays through. But in this one, they made him, uh, beatable. Uh... Yeah, they, they mean... Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm just trailing off. Uh, yeah, they mean him beatable in this one, but the, pl the scene still plays out. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, unless things have changed, which I don't remember... 
Uh, Maverick Hunter X a lot. But I think we still get the leg upgrade here. Oops. No, no, no. No, not title screen. We're gonna... We're gonna save. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should still get the leg upgrade here. Unless they change it, which is very possible. Shell penguin. I'm beginning the mission. I kind of wish they continued with this. Uh, like made a second one and a third one of the Maverick Hunter X series. But... I guess Capcom was like, nah. Uh, it would have been nice seeing X2 and X3 and like this on, on the PSP. Uh, that could have been another thing too. The PSP might have been on uh, like the late end of its cycle. Because then we got the the Vita, which unfortunately uh, is not is pretty much over and done with. Which is unf which is a shame because I really like the Vita. Like the Vita had some pretty pretty sweet games, and you could you know you could play some PSP games that were compatible with it. I wish a lot more were compatible with it, but, you know, them's the brakes, right? Man, those, uh, tire enemies are rocking me. Oh my god. I'm so used to dashing all over the place. Oh, I guess we don't get it here. That's that's where we would have gotten it. So I guess it's Flame Mammoth that has it. Yeah, because here we would probably get a, another upgrade. Dang it. It's fine. We don't need the dash. It's not like it's imperative to like movement or anything like this. Hey, you know, kudos to that guy for for following through. I could just take a death and go to Flame Mammoth stage. Because I feel like every time I fight Chill Penguin, it's with the... Oops. With the dash boots. Or with the leg upgrade. I just get a lot more momentum with my dashing and I love it. All right, we'll we'll give it a <clears throat> excuse me. We'll give it a shot. Chill, penguin. Why have you sided with Sigma? Sigma has paid for the use of my power. Working for him is a million times better than piddling around on a South Pole with nothing to do. How could you? What Sigma's doing is treasonous. Yeah. Here he comes, he's gonna... Yep. Yeah, it's because when he does that, I like to jump over him. With the dash boots. 
Not dash boots. What's the dash? <laughs> It's fine, we got this. Yeah, as long as he doesn't jump while he's here, we're good. I got two more good shots in him, in me. No, no, no! Okay. <laughs> that would have sucked. Now let my guard down a bit. Mission accomplished. All right, new weapon. Such a little nifty transition and cool way to show off uh, the new weapon you got. Okay. So I'm going to end it here with this as a first part. Uh, as I get more and more accustomed to doing this, again, they'll be a little, a little longer. Uh, so probably next time we'll do Spark Mandrel. I might go do Flame Mammoth. Uh, because that's probably where the leg upgrade is. And Flame Mammoth isn't that tough to beat, so... Uh, we'll do Flame Mammoth and then, uh, Spark Mandrill. Uh, and then depending on how long it takes, we could probably knock in another, a third Maverick. Uh, but that'll be all for right now. Thanks everyone for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.